Good morning, viewers. Yes, Onyendo yesterday finally spoke out from the court. He made some revelations. One of the things he said that two minutes if he's out of detention or captivity, uh, he will restore peace in the southeast. And he said some criminals are joining with the federal government to cause insecurity. He didn't mention names, but people are suspecting uh, some other persons. What's your take? Uh, of course, now, you know, that, you know, when uh, somebody like, like the Supreme Leader of Indigenous People of Biafra, Master Nabde cannot speak, people like us will go down our knees and begin to interpret it, begin to feast it, begin to, you know, do a script of it one after another because his speech is a volume of books, you know. That statement you saw there, you know, that in two minutes he was going to, you know, his presence, his presence, the peace, that peace is what Biafra represents. That's why they present peace. That's the fact. Anywhere anybody wants to interpret it, that is your own business. But for people who has been, you know, a conversant with revelations about the restoration of the Black Kingdom. You know what I mean about the Black Kingdom? The Hebrew nation, the Black emancipation, the Black uh, uh, liberation. Uh, uh, you know, we, we begin to look at it from that angle that, yes, when he said in two minutes, the understanding and the consciousness uh, that will enter the mind of every black man all over the world, of every black man in Bethlehem land, will be something of a kind of dove coming on the side to dwell and giving you a particular vision and understanding of the direction where you are supposed to go. So that two minutes of Carlos presence anywhere in the world, anywhere in Ebola land, anywhere in Bethlehem land, anywhere he steps his let on means that the Bible says the Prince of Peace. I'm not trying to equate him with divinity as in God, though we know that he is well connected to the source. But what you are saying is that when you know the kind is talking about peace in two minutes, you, you should understand what it means. It that means the different consciousness is going to, you know, um, uh, 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 expand, uh, expand, you know, you know, and possess, and possess every black man around the African all over the world yes. well you don't understand what i mean it's not this kind of uh, two minutes piece no. all these people are talking about no, 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 no. that is why the canon has become an ideology and people are beginning to study him people are beginning to digest anytime he opens his mouth and make a statement that peace is going to come to the black man all over the world in two minutes what does that mean it's not this kind of thing we hear from uh, some other part of the country or there are some people who are somewhere uh, uh, in, 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 in another part of the country who come up with one ideology or the other. We are talking about command and control. That's what we are talking about. We are humans. And that is what God said. For you to control humans, there is law. And what is the law? The Ten Commandments. It puts the man, the humanity, into check. That's what we are talking about. So, now the kind of stepping out means that the base is bringing is going to possess every black man to realize and awake that consciousness that giant in every black man especially black man to begin to look towards the direction of where yes this is where we are going now we can commerce over 60 to 70 80 million people around the world Black france he commands over 62 you know they hear i shall explain if you look at the history, as of 1999, the, 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 the population, after the killing, after the civil war, the equals multiplication was that of Israel, for instance. Our, our women, our mothers, we are giving 1,000 at a go. So, there was population surge after the war because the hand of God descended on the Biafra land because of the injustice done to Biafra. So, the multiplication of what we are seeing, you know, uh, made the, uh, the population to hit, as at that time, 60 million people. But from 1999 to death, we are talking about 80 to 100 million people now. And the Imam the Kano is in charge. That's what he's telling you. I am in charge. My present brings peace. That's what the Bible says. That through one man, sin entered into the world. 
Through one man, depression came. Through one man, salvation came. That's what, that's what he's trying to tell you. Through one man, peace came. So, the, 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 the presence of human becoming is what we are talking about anywhere. I hope the government understands that. If it's released, uh, it will restore peace to the southeast. Right, he, he, he don't need to say that there will be peace. He don't, he don't understand why somebody is being lost. He, he, don't, he don't know where where, where somebody is being collected to the consciousness of the black man all over the world. He don't know, he just like Peter B. He don't need to say you are going to fight corruption. Peter B's presence is already fighting corruption. Peter B's presence in Asuron means that corruption is dead. Look at what is happening now. Over one trillion. Well, Tribu grant over one gave the teenagers over one trillion in that budget, in part of the budget party to settle them. Ababio collected 250 million or 225 million. The speaker collected how much? Go and check it, the record are there. And all those mushroom senators that said there are 90 senators or what senior senators, no one left there with 900, some left with 900 billion. Do you know what that means? So that they become the oldest member of a, of a government that, that truncated the wish of the people, that manipulated the wish of the people. That is why Nigeria is like this, and it's going to continue. So that is what we are talking about, you know, whether the government beginning to realize that the unconditional release of the IBOB leader, Mazin Namdekano, you bring tranquility not only in the African land, in, in the entire Africa, not in the entire consciousness of the black man. A black man will begin to see hope. A, a, a black man uh, will begin to see resilience. A black man will begin to see, you know, uh, uh, dominion, conquest. A black man will begin to see I can do spirit. A, a black man will be liberated. A black man will begin to, you know, uh, find his feet in different endeavors of life, including technology and science. That is what Nam Kano is talking about. It's not this piece in Asurago they are looking at. People like us should be called. You know, when we come, we look at him, we interpret it. I share with him Nam Kano have an issue. When you wrote that letter, tell him that to upon down. So what, what do you mean by sit at home? Who told you that? Somebody from Finland begin to jump out. I call the shots. People like us will call the shots. They, why, you are in Finland, you are jumping up, you are doing this. We are waiting for the final whistle. And when the final whistle blows, then we will be able to differentiate who, who uses what is stick and who, who is blind. That's the fact. So, you know that at that time, there was a fact, there was a revelation that why is he that is not in the camera that wrote that letter? But today, he was allowed access from the door to speak to the press. And he told them, my presence will bring peace in two minutes. Thus, man, he released in two minutes. There will be absolute tranquility. He doesn't need to come to South East before peace will come here. He is for the federal government. Okay, you can answer his tired. You have just said it that he's tired. I can even this retire. I'm tired of it. He has gone through this process over again and he was discharged and acquitted. Then, upon her eye, maybe open eye, they see from back, come. Oh, yeah. Being a man who believes of what he believes, being a man that people like so what they have learned from. Being a man, people like Sandy Boy, them has learned from because of his ingenuity and resilience. He has still his guard to define the identity of who he represents. That was why people like Sandy Sandibo always say, Please, please, in the the candle. Sandibo said it. You know why he said it? Because we are watching the scene, what is going on. Two days ago, there about there was a major uh, 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 fracas, military in the Republic. 
they cut ties with American government. And they ordered almost how many thousands of American troops in Niger to live with immediate effect. The Sahel, the Arab world. Bros, what, you know, when people like us see it coming, most of, most of them don't believe what is coming. That this is uh, 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 a fool. This is not a matter of a fool. This is reality. It, is, it means cutting off the entire, uh, 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 this, let them they cut off, let everybody be on their own. The conquest that is coming is what Ababio is talking about. How can we now hold Ababio? The people that came into Nigeria are, are, are uh, Boko Haram or uh, Hesmen. Who told you that? He's trying to defend his people. That is the truth. And because they knew what happened, what transpired. In the first place, do the military have business to intervene? We have two local governments are having maybe a land dispute, maybe a political issue, maybe a structural issue, maybe a relationship issue, maybe an interest issue. Who ordered that peace mission? Is it the governor or the presidency? Now, Rose, there are more questions to be asked on what led to the kill. Kill the boys! We are killed! We are among the soldiers killed. Kill the boys, one major! One and a five, two peoples. We are killed. One of them was killed there. You understand what I'm talking about? So, I don't want to go and relax. Don't get an independent inquiry into what happened. We don't want to hear machineries. The machineries we are talking about was brought by FPC. Same FPC. We started hiring, hiring machineries under Jonathan. We don't know anything about machineries. FPC brought, FPC brought machineries. So they know what they are doing. Okay, and then the Kanu says that uh, some people are colliding with the government to cause insecurity in the southeast. Let me tell you the facts. In every 12, there must be Judas. But Judas did not stop the fulfillment of the prophecy. In every hamlet, there must be a prince. And all the witches and witchcraft in that hamlet cannot stop the manifestation of that prince. That is well understood. Whether the southeastern governors are here or there is their business. They cannot command one million people in a second. So who they follow them? They can only negotiate with the Fulani government. Or uh, to uh, 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 elements and begin to see uh, within the good job. Let them call one person, one million people now, win. It's only none the Canada can do it. But the governors, everybody, the good again, are loyal to Nam the Kano. Everybody yeah. there in the, in the entire Bevo land is loyal. But because of the Sahel, the all these elements they have one leg or the other in the in the midst of their friends and those legs they are, they are that's what they are using against Nam the Kano. But that's what that 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 that, that game would not stop the manifestation or the expectation of what we are thinking or what every black African that believe because they going to change their name now. Why is Nigeria should grow up and then Nigeria, Nigeria, which Nigeria for 104 years, no life. We must understand that this is not a matter of sentiment. This is a matter of race and identity. Shame! Okay, people are accusing uh, Samaneta of uh, being complicit in the insecurity in the South East. Yes, whether that statement made by Nam the Kano, that some people are trying to fish on it, that when he come out, 
Where is all? You know, that is going to bring peace to those people. Yeah. I think those people need peace. If it is Samoan Epa, Samoan Epa also need peace. Yeah. <laughs> do, you, do you understand what I'm saying? We don't need to derail. It's a movement. A movement of this type should be under command and control because it's been conducted by human beings. It's not an electronic movement. It's not a, 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 a rocket science. Fly to the moon. What's that like? No! You have to be dynamic in this in situation like this because at the end of the day, you will need friends, you will need bilaterals, you will need allies, you need to extend your hand to the left, extend your hand to the right. That is diplomacy. That is command and control. That's the philosophy of the IPOB. But when somebody comes and says, autopilot, what are you auto? What is the pilot? <laughs> what, what is the meaning of autopilot? Are you trying to crash what we are trying to do? It's not, it's not so until then, when things will be defined properly, then we'll know that at the end of the day, someone like Samaneba might likely need peace at the end of the day, and it will be given to him 100%.